So today we're going to be looking at two-time national champion, four-time D1 All-American, Austin O'Connor, and how he baited people into setting themselves up for the cow catcher. So here we have Dayton Fix versus two-time All-American Chris Cannon. Uh, Chris Cannon is going to reach back for the wizard, and this just allows Dayton Fix to hunt for the head and go for the cow catcher. He actually did it to him two years in a row, same as that way, same as that round at NCAAs. So the question is, yes, when the bottom wrestler reaches back, um, at a at not the best time, then they can set themselves up for the cow catcher pretty easily. But as a top wrestler, how do you bait the bottom guy into doing that and reaching back? Well, this is how Austin O'Connor does it. All he does is stick his head inside underneath the armpit. It's a very basic, very basic move, very basic trick. That's why today's video is going to be pretty short. It's not much to break down, just letting you guys see it, let, letting you know it works. I never had anybody teach it to me. He just put his head underneath the armpit, put some space between his body and the other guy's body so the guy feels like he can reach back. So right here, you can see that Austin O'Connor's body, he's kind of still almost on top of the bottom wrestler so the guy doesn't reach back. So even though he puts his head underneath, it doesn't work. Then he's going to shift his body to the side. So this time when he does it, you can see when the guy qualifies up, his head is all the way inside underneath the armpit. He's going to hop to the side hunt for the head, and get the easy cow catcher, take him to his back for the pin. In all of these clips, he got the pin. Once you once you get the cow catcher, it's pretty tight. It's a hard move to escape from. Again, take down. He's going to go right into it. Dude reaches back instantly. Austin O'Connor was mainly, he did most of his work from neutral. He wasn't too much of a top wrestler, but he had a few tricks from top that he'll do from time to time. Pretty easy, pretty simple. Everyone, I believe, like everyone knows that the cow catcher itself is a great move. Almost all coaches teach it, but most of the time they teach it from the neutral position, right from the front headlock, not from the top position. Here you have him against Josh Hale, who was a really good wrestler. And he's able to take him to his back as well. He's gonna pull him in. Obviously this doesn't apply, this exact clip doesn't apply to um, high school wrestlers because they would have called it out, but look how he pulled them in. That's that was pretty cool. So if you are close out of bounds, you can pull them in. So you guys know I like low risk techniques, right? And what is considered low risk for the top position? What well, well, I'll consider low risk is you try it, but you don't lose position, right? So him against Jake Keating, he's gonna try it, put his head underneath the armpit. Jake Keating doesn't fall for it. He just keeps his arm. He doesn't reach back and he just resumes back into the top position, right? Right after this clip, he actually ended up letting him go anyways because, again, Austin O'Connor liked doing the takedown and let him up, but he'll do this. Austin O'Connor is the perfect example of an elite wrestler who will have tricks on top. Austin O'Connor is the same guy who I did the um, crossface, the three-quarter Nelson into the crossface video on. Again, these aren't systems. These are kind of just things you try out. A lot of times, guys will have the same reaction and you do the move. If you wanna watch videos about top systems, watch my last video, Dominant the Top Position. That's for leg riders, guys who like doing the half Nelson. Watch my Spencer Lee video, right, where I go over the top the top system that Spencer Lee, Mikhail McGee, um, Real Woods, that all three of them use. Ryan Crookham, number one in the country at 133, at 133 pounds, he currently uses that system. Um, look, check out my Greg Kirkland video, right? Um, where he, how he sets up two on one. He does that very consistently, how he sets up the two on, two on one tilt. These are simply tricks. These are not to be your bread and butter, right? Against the highest, highest, highest level of competition, right? Even though we can see that even all Americans can get baited and pinned with this move. If you want to look at more top techniques, um, tricks and systems that you can implement in your top game on a regular basis, I would take a look at my Dominate the Top Position course that's typically $29, but for the entirety of March, what I am doing is you can get all four of my courses for only $30. That's $30 one time fee, not $30 a month. And that's for all four of my courses, not $30 each. So check that out at my website and I will see you guys in the next video.